Feed the kids, wash the dishes. It takes a lot of effort to be a mother. Some days it seems like you can never get out of the kitchen to do the things you enjoy, like painting. Carolyn Penley of Roswell, Georgia, seems to have found a solution. After slaving over a hot sink, she just changes it into a hot easel and starts painting. I have an easel in the other room, but this is just much more comfortable. If I take the easel out and bring it in here, then I have to set it up and take it down all the time. Propping her work up against the faucet is just one thing that Carolyn does that's different. She has, for the most part, given up on canvas. Carolyn uses wood instead. Slabs of old barn siding, pieces of weathered walls, all add a rustic quality to her paintings. It seemed like the natural thing to do. I found some barn wood and a barn that was being torn down across the street from me in Indiana. And at the time I was painting flowers most most of the time, that was my major subject. And um, I thought it was really appropriate that I should paint a painting of the barn that was torn down on the wood that came off the barn. And that's kind of how I got into it. And then I got a hold of these trays that used to be used to dry grapes on. And I liked them very much. The thinner and not as heavy as, as large barn doors and pieces of barn wood. She has a passion for ancient houses, and especially old railroad stations. Recently, she's been painting on grape trays, the wooden racks that growers used to use to dry grapes into raisins. Many of these are 75 to 100 years old and used to be burned until Carolyn discovered them and used them for her paintings. An old thing like this, with something, um, Oh, it's completely from the past, and I'm using pieces of wood that are 75 to 100 years old, and I think they just go together. I guess that's the same appeal they have to other people. When Carolyn Penley sees a piece of wood that sparks her creative imagination, there's just no holding her back, even if she has to ask someone for their outhouse door. Do you often find people reluctant to give you the doors from their outhouses? I've heard that people sometimes are. I haven't talked to any of those people who are reluctant to give up their outhouse doors. Just mainly people who just can't wait. <laughs> yes. The people I've talked to are delighted to have me take them away. Well, in case you happen to have a bunch of outhouse doors sitting around the place that you're just dying to get rid of, here's something you can do with them. Call Katherine Penley and she'll come over and paint on them. From Roswell, Georgia, I'm Andy Johnston.